Hello and welcome to this beginner's tutorial about IPython. It is geared towards people who have no prior programming experience and want to start learning Python. The IPython shell is a powerful tool helping you in writing programs in Python. It is also a great way of getting in touch with some of the things Python can do for you. For example, serve as an extremely powerful calculator. Let's have a look. We start IPython by typing IPython3 and we can calculate immediately the way we would expect it. 3 plus 3 yields 6 or 4 times 5 yields 20. Now we can combine such operations, say 3 plus 4 times 5. But which operation will be executed first? As we expect, times is performed before the plus. So this will be 23. If you want to control such operator precedence, we can use parentheses. So 3 plus 4 will be calculated first, and then times 5, which will yield 35. If you want to access the last result, we can use the underscore. So 35, and we can continue calculating with it. Underscore over 2 would be 17.5. We could also go back to what we've written using the up and down arrow keys. Like that. And store the results in designated variables. These variables can be used to later access these values or make calculation clear and easy to understand. Say, if you want to calculate the terminal value of an investment, you can say terminal value equals our investment 100 euros times 1 plus 0 0.03, that means 3% interest, to the power of 4. So we invest for 4 years. And the terminal value is 112.55 euros. But this is not particularly easy to read. We could also have written investment equals 100, interest equals 0 0.03, years equals 4. And we can calculate the terminal value by stating investment times 1 plus interest to the power of years and the terminal value is again 112.55 and so on. You might have seen that it looks like I'm typing pretty fast but actually IPython helps me. If I just start typing a variable name and the variable name is unique then I hit the tab key IPython will auto complete it. If it is not unique like investment and interest, I hit the tab key and IPython will tell me which options I have, interest or investment. Say interest and there it is. Now we can also use regular mathematical functions like sine, cosine and so on. To do this we need to import the math module. Import math. But how do we know what's in there? We can write math dot and hit the tab key and IPython will tell us all the functions and constants available. So for example, we have math.pi or we can use the sine function. But how does it work? If you're not sure, we can use a question mark at the end of the function name and IPython will give us some help. It says return the sine of x measured in radians. So we can calculate math.sine of math.pi over 2 and as expected it yields 1.0. If we need assistance and help for IPython itself, we can use the question mark. This introduction about IPython's features is highly recommendable. You can scroll up and down using the arrow keys. To exit this built-in help, type Q, which is short for quit. Now we've reached the end of this video tutorial and I hope I could whet your appetite for learning more about Python.